Hello guys, what is going on? It is Gaming Guru here, and welcome to my new Let's Play of, even though you already know what it is, the Mother 3 Fan Translation, which is a free, unofficial translation made entirely by Mother slash Earthbound fans. Mm-hmm. And right there is the link that you can use to get this uh, fan translation. You just apply it to a ROM, and it will, your Mother 3 ROM, and it will translate it into English. And real quick, I'm just gonna say this: uh, Mother Three can be a, is um it's not, it's, it, it's not it can be it is a fairly dark game at times. And if you're not a um and if you don't want to know, if you don't want to deal with some really dark stuff, then maybe don't watch this. But and I'm not gonna make jokes out of it. Cause I'm you know I'm kind of a guy who can fi who can find humor in the strangest of things, but <laughs> not I'm not that heartless. I'm going to turn this volume up just a little bit so I can hear it. There we go. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to use the default names for the... Uh, then I'll give you one. And, uh, and Earthbound, I'll give you a few more. I'm doing this before Earthbound because uh, I was talking to my friend about this and he said, Do Mother 3 first. So I'm like, eh, alright, fine. I don't really want to change the... um names personally I think the names are fine the way they are stupid there we go I had to clear sorry I had to, I had to clear up a notification on the computer uh, tech speed fast I'm I'm a big boy Window color, they all suck. Um, um, oh, I go with grape, and yeah, so this is probably going to be this is going to be a very, 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 very long LP. This is going to be going on for a long time. But I love this game to bits. I don't know if it would make it in my top 10. I don't know if Earthbound would make it into my top 10. I prefer this one to Earthbound and I hate the other one. I'm just saying, so it's not likely that I'll ever do Mother 1. It's likely that I'll do Earthbound in the future, but... Um... Oh jeez. That was a loud crack. But, in terms of, like, w like, where this game stands on my favorites, it's definitely, definitely in the top 20, maybe in the top 10. It, it's a really, really good RPG. And I have beaten the game before. So, I'm not playing this blind. I just think it's amazing that this was on the Game Boy Advance. I mean, that's crazy. Lucas, how long are you gonna sleep? I'm not doing voices, really, I'm not. Get up so we can play. Get up already. Dragons brought the. The Dragos brought their babies over. They're really cute. Hurry up. The same bedhead as always. Let's go outside. Get some fresh air. Are you planning to play in your pajamas? Scoot up and change your clothes. What if I don't want to? Then you can stay inside any pajamas for the rest of your life. <laughs> now change. <laughs> Look at handsome. <laughs> You're much manlier now. 
Uh, always remember this. Press B to uh, dash into the back. And you get a nut bread. Why? I don't know. Hey, Alec. How's life? Oh, you're up, sleepyhead. Well, today's the day you head back home. I'm gonna miss you guys. <laughs> Memory. Uh, these are safe frogs. I don't think... Uh, these work on my ROM. Oh, they do work! I swear they didn't work last time. <laughs> Timber! <laughs> we, we know, we know that's not, that's not real. Puff, gasp, who won't beat? I've been play fighting with the dragos all morning. You should play the two, Lucas. Sure. You try ramming into a drago. Klaus. Lucas still doesn't know how to ram into things yet. And ram into things yet. Oh, too bad I do know. <laughs> Lucas, try imagine try to imagine a thing called a B button. And then hold that B button for a second, then let go. Doing this will let you dash. By using that dash ability, you can ram into that drago there. Klaus, show him an example. Yes, just like that. Now it's your turn, Lucas. Give it a try. You'll never succeed with such a solemn look on your face. That holds you for anything. Just relax. That looks pretty solid, I have to admit. I am the strongest man in the world! Again? Talk to them now? I don't remember. But how do you ram into them? The more the dragos like it. There we go. Move it out of the way. Make way for the great mole cricket. I can't just sit idly by when I hear someone's play fighting. I'm gonna wipe the floor with all of you. Get in my way and you're in for a world of pain. Oh no, it's a mole cricket. Come on. Can I pull off a combo? No. No, I can't do it. Um, yeah, if you combo to the B, you can do more damage, but one, I can't really hear the music, and two, I'm terrible at comboing anyway, so that's not gonna happen very often. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna try. I see you have more of a spine than I thought. I'd like I could train you personally sometime. Next time we meet, it'll be at the big mall cricket hole stadium. I look forward to seeing you there. Bro. <laughs> I stepped on a mole cricket. I hope it's alright. <laughs> lunch is ready, everyone. Made your favorite boys. Omelets! Ooh, lunch, lunch, omelets! Nom 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 And now we find out Alex's true identity. The fourth wall breaker. Listen, folks. Here's how to save. Talk to frogs. This is how you save. It's not too tedious or troublesome, so you can just say so you should talk to frogs as often as you can. Plus, saving is absolutely free. Now, then, it's time for me to return to the story. Hey, wait for me! You saved me some olives too, I hope! That's a question. I don't know, they might not have saved them. Better move it, Alec. What's your favorite food, Mom? Oh, omelets? Yeah, and your favorite is the same as ours? We make a good match. We need to get ready to go home. We have to go through the forest to get back, so we need to leave early. Don't be silly. I bet the kids can make it here on their own. It's that safe. <laughs> I bet even you can handle it, Lucas. <laughs> Poor Lucas.
dear Flint. Just like you said they would, the children have been running around the mountains and fields tirelessly since the moment we arrived. Klaus is as daring and full of energy as ever, while Lucas is still a bit coddled, but neither one seems to be tired of playing at all. Ah, it's delightful. My father seems sad to say goodbye to his grandchildren and have seen them for the first time in so long. We should be home by this evening. I had forgotten how nice and refreshing the mountain air is. We are always covered in the smell of sheep back in Tasmili Village, so I really wish you could have been here to take in this air. The next time we visit, let's ask one of our neighbors to tend to the sheep so we can all come here as a, come up here as a family. Klaus, Lucas, and I were always thinking about you. When we get home this evening, I'll start cooking some of your favorite omelets right away. This is a family that really likes protein. With love, your dearest Hino. Yawa! Oh, she's a magician. It's a UFO. Yeah. <laughs> I heard their theme. I love the I love those enemies when we get to them. They're the best. Mother three. 11, 11 and 3 quarter minutes into the game, we get the title screen. Boom! Boom! I'm being quiet so I can listen to the music. <laughs> Chapter 1 Night of the Funeral. Starting right out with death, like any good story. <laughs> Flint, Flint, Flint. It's a fire, a fire, a fire. The Sunshine Forest is, uh, is, on, is on fire, on a huge fiery, flamey fire. Little, little, little. I have to walk in a circle there really quick. You gotta do something quick, Flint. The forest, the forest, the forest, the forest is on fire. Jeez, who would lock their door in a village as peaceful as ours? Flint! Ah! The doorknob. Why'd you have to come off at a time like this? Ah, door up. I mean, Flint, this is no time to be dozing off. There's a huge fire in the Sunshine Forest. Bad time of this call for reckless nice guys like you. Please come, Flint, please. <laughs> Thomas joined your party. I'll follow behind you. What? What's wrong with that? I am not like following behind people.
He's hiding something inside his doghouse. Flint got a stick. Hey, Flint. That's actually gonna make a good weapon in case anything happens. Be sure to equip it first, though. Just holding onto it will make it useful as a caramel. It's really noisy. You're supposed to be quiet tonight. I'm a good dog, so I'm being quiet. Right, so let's equip our stick as a weapon. Oh, I, lo I love the ordinary hat. An ordinary hat. <laughs> this ain't no ordinary hat. Ah, Flint. The whole sky knows that he's pitch black with smoke. You biff. Biff. You know this guy's Mapson? Yep. If you need something from the map loving and map owning Mapson, it must be a map. Yes? Please feel free to take one with you. Not a Tasmanian map. You're worried about large shock you've been selling such high forest deals. I've marked that area on the map for you. Your map's been marked. These are it's you for these old Oh, whoops, silly me. Forgot to tell you how to check the map, didn't I? You know what I need to do? How do I put this? Feel your right index finger with a wish or strength. Put more bluntly. I guess do something R button ish. And that's our map. Bam. That circle there is Lighter's cabin that we're gonna be heading to. Ah, uh, save our game. Please be careful out there. Give Mama Gus the next frog you meet. Um, uh, yeah. It goes this way. No, uh, these guys are funny. Wheeze, gas, wheeze, gas, wheeze. No, what are you doing? Quit pushing that. Wheeze, gas, quit it. Seriously, stop. Keep pushing it and I'll be sick. Why do you keep pushing it? See, you did it again. If you keep this up, I'm gonna. Blarg! So you know, if something bad happens to me, it's all because you kept pressing this stupid thing. The flames started coming our way, so we ran here with all our might. But old Ida and Little flew us are stuck in the forest. May the forest and the people and the animals and I all have happiness. I pray to the yin yang. Oh, Flint, good to see you here. I think it's only about to offer a prayer before going into the, into the forest. Please answer for the calm mind. Please tell me your name. Yes, the name of the person playing this game. Nah, who cares? Shit. And that's my name for everybody wondering. All none of you. Your name. Yes, it is. I, I know my name. <laughs> you get your ever asked this question? Uh, yeah, right. I don't think I'll ever forget this. Uh, forgotten what? I haven't forgotten anything. <laughs> Crap, I had the wrong answer. Oh, it was a save. <laughs> Please be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. Flint, dang heavens, you're here. I think Ryder and Felix are stuck out of the forest. Don't worry, I'll hold back these rubberneckers. You just hurry and find them. No, I'm not trying to talk to you, Ed. I'm trying to talk to this guy. Where's the fire? Is it on fire? This is the big emergency, so I came to help out. But Ed won't let me through. I can be useful too, you know. I'm just some annoying onlooker. I'm not just some annoying onlooker. Oh, it's you, Flint. I thought I saw someone as manly as me walking this way. The smoke is terrible. My sensitive though, I can't continue any further. So you can have this cookie instead. Let this slightly unclean and not very tasty cookie be of use. Please let it be of use. Flint got a nut cookie. I said I wasn't doing voices, but what do I do? I start doing voices. Oh no, it's a bat! Mr. Batty blocked the way. Let's bash the hell out of him. No. Nope. I think this is a fast song. No, Thomas is acting flustered. Nah, I didn't get a single combo off. I'm probably not gonna get any of them off for a while. 
20 experience points. Anyway, not the pressing side, the pressing There was some nut bread. Flint took the nut bread and ended the video here. So that is going to be the end of this video. If you enjoyed this first part of Let's Play Mother 3, make sure you hit that like and the subscribe button. And of course, don't forget to follow my Instagram and my Twitter in the description below. Most importantly, have a fantastic day.